One week to go as the countdown clock shows we are in the home stretch to election day. As Vice President Kamala Harris prepares for a big speech tonight, our Kimberly Gill flew to Washington, got to spend some time with her today, asking her a few questions about obviously Michigan being such an incre incredibly important component of this election. Hey, KG. Hey there, Devin, and she's got a big speech tonight. When I spoke to the vice president, she told me her approach this entire campaign has been like the work of a prosecutor. She has laid out her opening statement, laid out all the evidence, and tonight her speech is going to be her closing argument to the jury, the American people who will decide the outcome of this election. Can you tell me about your speech tonight? So my speech will be at the ellipse, and the White House will be behind me. And I will be referencing the fact that on January 20th, one of two people is going to occupy the Oval Office. And if it's Donald Trump, I can guarantee you he will be sitting there stewing over his enemies list. And if I am elected President of the United States, I will be there working on behalf of the American people on my to-do list. And I think that's what the American people deserve. And the significance of why you chose the ellipse to conduct this speech. Because it is in the White House that the work is going to get done. And I want to help people visualize the place and then think about who you want occupying that place and what kind of work you want to see get done. Do you want it to be about someone who is talking about the enemies within talking about America's military going after American citizens? Or do you want someone who is there working on challenges, working across the aisle? Now, if you're not familiar with where this speech is being held at the Ellipse, it is an area just south of the White House. It is where the annual president's Easter egg roll happens. It's where the Christmas tree lighting happens. And it is also the place where Donald Trump urged his supporters to march to the Capitol on January 6th. Devin? It was interesting, KG, you were invited uh, very quickly. It's kind of hastily arranged, your invitation. You looked at the other people invited today. It kind of tells you where the battlegrounds are, mm -hmm. right? It absolutely is. It was uh, four reporters, two from Pennsylvania, one from Wisconsin, and us from Michigan. We were each given five minutes yeah. with the vice president, and we had to ask our questions pretty quickly. You yeah. know how these things go. Of course. And again, this comes ahead of a big speech that's happening tonight at 7 o'clock here in Washington, D.C. More on that later on. All right, KG from Washington.